you guys it's Jess welcome back to my channel so we're gonna jump right on into this in this video I will be showing you guys how I made my DIY flaxy gel so the first thing I'm gonna do is put my stove on a medium high heat I'm using a small pan because I'm not sure um, you know how this is gonna work out so I just made a little bit so I'm using two cups of water so I'm gonna put that one cup in there two times So I got this whole flex heat from Walmart for like $4.80 something cents. So I'm kind of just making up measurements here because the video that I saw earlier didn't have exact measurements. So you kind of have to eyeball it. But here I'm using one fourth of a cup and I didn't fill it all the way. So I'm throwing that in there. But then I realized it wasn't enough. So then I'm putting a little bit more in there. So I don't know how much that ended up being. I'm really just eyeballing the whole thing. So I'm just going to let it sit there and then it starts to boil. So I'm going to, you know, mix it up a little bit to make sure all the flax seeds are None of them are stuck to the bottom and it's all getting its goody goody goodness. And I'm going to let it sit there and boil for about 20 minutes. After about 15 to 20 minutes, the flaxseed water consistency should look kind of jelly. And when it starts to look like this and gooey, that's when you know it's all done. So I just scoop it up a few times to make sure it's nice and gooey. You see a little drop right there? That was all I needed to know that it was ready to go. So I'm just going to turn off the stove and I'm going to let it sit there and cool down for, you can do 30 minutes to an hour, but I just wanted to be safe. So I did one hour exact. So after letting it chill out for an hour, this is the new consistency that it is. Now this is extremely jelly and this is exactly what you want it to look like. Nice and gooey and thick. So this is the perfect texture that you want your flaxseed gel to be. Um, so now we're gonna strain it. So I'm using these um, leg stockings or stocking legs, whatever these things is called. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around my, any type of cup that you wanna use. I use a measuring cup. And um, now we're gonna pour it in there. Sorry for the bad camera angle. Um, I, I was, you know, my hands was busy. But so we're just gonna pour it in there and then we're gonna get on to squeezing it out. All right, so this is not the most appealing part and y'all could really spare me in the comments. I know what it looks like, but let's just, you know, let's move on. So you're just gonna take your hand and squeeze down the stocking cap and squeeze the seeds out and then all of the gel is going to just come out nicely. It's really gooey and it just, it feels gross and I know it looks gross, but this is just how the process is done. So you're just gonna continue to squeeze out, try to get as much out of the stocking that you can. And when you're done, it's gonna look a little dried up like that and, um, that's, that's just what it looks like, you guys. I know, I know. Yeah, sis, I know, I know. Anyways, so this is what the gel looks like when it's done. It kind of looks like spit, but this is just what it is. It has a very gooey consistency, but um, that's how you know that your gel is good and ready to go. So now we're gonna try it out in our hair. All right, you guys, so as you just saw, I just made my own flaxseed gel because everybody's been saying, try out flaxseed gel, try it out, it's just as good, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna put that to the test right now. I washed and conditioned my hair yesterday. I just took it out of the twist, so it is a little dry right now, so I'm just gonna dampen it with some water. Okay, so the reason I really wanted to do this is because, you know, the whole eco styler gel craze, you know, and like I said, I don't really know, you know, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna fully cancel it fully, fully, but I just wanna give people some other options just in case they are completely anti eco styler gel now. So I went ahead, made this flaxseed, flaxseed gel. There's really no smell to it. So it just is what it is. A lot of people are saying, but eco styler gel is the only thing that has my curls popping, it's the only thing that lays my hair down. So we're gonna put this to the test today. I did not really make a lot, so I'm going to do a piece of my hair to kind of see if it gets the curls popping the way Eco Styler Gel does. I don't know, <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna do a slick low bun to see if it, you know, lays our hair, or lays my hair down the way Eco does, just to really see, you know, the options we got. We, let's make ourselves some options, okay? Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, is try to define this piece of my hair here. And in case anyone is wondering, this is just pure flaxseed gel. I didn't add any 
hair oils or any aloe or any honey or anything like that to it so I just wanted to see how the product was gonna work on its very own so that's just that's what we gonna do all right so this is my hair right now undefined I'm gonna take some of the flacky CD gel so here we go Boy, I'm not about to play with y'all today. I mean, I mean, you know, proof is kind of in the pudding right now, my sisters and brothers. Hmm. Y'all, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that at all. theme okay now so we can pretty much just put that to bed right there that's a good it's nice and I can I feel already that it'll have a decent hold so I mean that could be an option but since I don't have enough to do a full wash and go on my hair I'm gonna do a sleek low bun to see how well it keeps the hair sleek. So I'm not really gonna do a talk through through this. I'm just gonna just do my hair and kind of show you guys how it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just kind of I'm gonna speed through it and show you guys how well it holds. All right, y'all, so this is where we at right now, like. I mean, you know, a little something, something. My, I'm not gonna lie, my edges are not laying as flat as um, they do with my edge control, but that's the same thing with any type of gel that I use. This side ain't too bad. But other than that, I'm gonna do my last step and lay my hair with my scarf. And um, I ain't gonna lie though, you know, let's, Let's do up the edges before I do that, because it's only right. Oh, there we go. All right, so just a little bit. So I'm just gonna lay my hair with my scarf, and I'll do that for about 20 minutes, and then we'll see the official slickness. But for right now, I mean, I don't have any complaints, you know? Okay. Okay, so I will be right back and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all laid and slayed. Okay, yeah. Alright y'all, the sun is going down, so I had this on my head for like maybe 20 minutes, so now we're going to reveal the sleekness. Oh yeah, you guys. So let me get closer so y'all can see. Hey 
Anyway, so I would pretty much say um, the flaxseed gel works pretty well right now. And honestly, when I'm using it, the texture feels so like like moisturizing. It is very gooey, a lot gooier than regular gel, but I, I don't know. For some reason, it feels nice on it feels nice to me and it feels really nice in my hair so I'm not mad at it at all I would definitely use it again I'm not so sure exactly how long this gel will um, last I know that they said you could add a preservative to it if you want to but I haven't done enough research on that as of yet you can google it or whatever do your own research I always tell you that I know I should come with the facts because I'm a youtuber but I'm not a scientist I just I just I'm a YouTuber. Anyways, so um, I know you can also add honey or add different hair oils or aloe vera gel and different things to your flaxseed gel if you would like to. If anyone knows, leave a comment and let me know different ways you preserve your flaxseed gel, how many days it lasts after you make it the first time. If you don't use a preservative or if you do, like, um, how do you preserve it or do you put it in the fridge? I think I did hear that you could put it in the fridge for its best shelf life. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with the rest that I have left. But yep, this is how the flaxseed gel works out. I am going to do this again to do a full wash and go to see how that works out. To see how well it holds and just, you know, all that fun stuff. But right now, this is what we got. So uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you've tried flaxseed gel before. Tell me if it worked for your hair. Tell me if you like it better than eco styler gel, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. I ain't gonna lie, I can already see now. It is, it is laying my hair flat, but I can see some flyaways as of right now. So I can tell that it's not as strong as eco styler gel, maybe because I didn't put in any other products, but this by itself, is not as strong as Eco Styler gel. I don't know if you can like see. Anyways, my hair is starting to give me a little bit of flyaways. Nothing that I can't live with, but just giving it the most honest review that I can possibly give it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So you guys already know what it is. Leave me a comment and I will try to get back to you. Thank you guys for watching my video and I'll see you in my next one.